Hey everyone, in this video we are going to learn uh, the difference between place order and place smart order in OpenAlgo. So I already logged into OpenAlgo here and I am going to demonstrate using a uh, Bruno uh, tool. So Bruno is something very similar to Postman to test the APIs. So we have this place order API which does a post request and uh, you know that most of the APIs in uh, OpenAlgo does the post request except few. right? So I'm having a post request here. I'm going to send it to my local uh, open algo. So open algo is running at 127.0.0.1 colon 5000. So I'm going to send a place order. So if you know where I can get this endpoint URL, you can always go to the documentation. I'm going to open the documentation over here. If you go to the docs, right, you can see this uh, place order under API documentation. We have this version one. Under version 1, we have this order API. Under order API, we will be able to see all types of order API over here. So first we will go and try with this simple place order. What is going to happen? It's a plain vanilla place order. right? So which has an endpoint URL. And that endpoint URL, if I'm going to run it in my local host, this is the endpoint URL I have to use. Whereas if I'm going to use my custom domain, I have to use something like this. right? Maybe let's say demo.openalco.in uh, slash api v1 place order so now uh, i'm going to take this sample request over here i'm just going to copy this right i'll go to my body from here i'll ensure that i'll select a json and then i'll i'm going to keep my uh, apis over here let's say this is what i'm going to paste so it's going to ask my uh, api key over here that's what it is it's going to ask so uh, it's asking for an uh, your API key. So I have to go and get the API key here first of all. Let me go to open I'll go from here. I'll go to the API key section. I'm going to copy this API key. You can also show the API key from here right? show or hide. So let me copy the API key. I'll go back to Bruno and then I'll paste API key over here. So I'm going to send uh, only one quantity to open I'll go. So let me also currently uh, let me first place the order. So the order has been placed. If I go and see it in the order book, you can see that I'm already seeing the orders coming over here. This is like buy. I can also send a sell as well. This is plain vanilla order, right? So if I send a uh, sell over here instead of buy, and it's going to, you can see that immediately it send a uh, sell order. So same thing, it will be able to see it in your trade book as well. And the same thing will be reflecting in your position book as well. Now what is so different about uh, the place smart order is, right? So place smart order always looks into the position book and then it takes a decision over here. So what is what, what do I mean by that is like, let's say I'll go to place smart order. So here is place smart order. The endpoint is here. We will be having an extra parameter over here. The extra parameter is nothing but the position size. So that's an extra parameter. Let's say I want to send an order in NSC, right? So NSC, I'll say I want to send an order in, uh, let's say something like S Bank, right? So S Bank, I want to purchase only one quantity over here. I'm also setting the position size as one, right? So quantity is one. Okay, maybe let's make the quantity as like five and position size also like five. So if I try to execute it, it's going to act like a regular order. So I'm going to, if I'm going to send that, let's say it's still a buy, but action doesn't plays a major role in uh, play smart order. What plays a major role is like uh, action combined with position size and combined with quantity is what it plays a major role. So here I don't have any open position as of now in yes bank as of now. So if I try to execute a position over here, let's say if I try to execute this you can see that oh i have to set the api key let me also go back and first let me set the api key over here before executing right i'll set the api key and then i'll try to execute over here you can see that the order got punched so when the order is getting punched first it checks the internal position and then it is placing the order over here right so which means Right now, if I try to refresh the page here, you can see that S Bank is having now five quantity over here. So which means if I go to the order book, you can see that S Bank is fired like total five quantity has been fired. But now the best part here is 
if i am going to change the position size from uh, plus 5 to minus 5 see that the action is still by but i'm setting the position size to minus 5 over here you know what happens it retrieves the position book and then it uh, checks what is the position currently currently current open position is like 5 the 5 it will convert to minus 5 which means it has to sell 10 quantities you see that it's gonna happen if now you can see that it is selling 10 quantities over here which means my position my new position will be minus 5 over here so i can set what are the position i want maybe if i want let's say i want to like i want to go like minus 15 it will set my position to minus 15 over here you can see that now let me try to refresh the position book over here it's getting minus 15 which means it has added another uh, 10 more on the sell side right i can bring it to minus 3 if i want to bring from minus 15 to minus 3 what it has to happen it should it should buy 12 quantities right so that is what's going to happen you can see that it buys 12 quantities which means my new position book will be matching my position book that's what it is happening over here minus three okay so what if i want to close all the open position what i have to send is like i have to send usually i'll be sending quantity as zero and position size also i'll set it to zero so any position size that you're gonna set as zero over here it will close all the open position so now the open position is completely cut squared off so if i want to square off any quantity what i'll do is simply i'll set the quantity as zero and position size also i will make it as zero that will completely exit the open position see that the position size completely got back to zero which means uh, the quantity what are the quantity which was open we had like three position which was open on the short side that would have been got bought over here so we bought three quantities over here right now what is also you need to know here is uh, let's say if i want to run some sort of a long long exit kind of strategies so what you can do is like probably you can set the quantity let's say i'm just setting the quantity as like 10 and uh, position size i will keep it as zero itself now if i try to execute for the first time you know what what is going to happen i'll tell you if i try to execute for the first time currently there are no open positions right there is no open positions at all so if i try to execute for the first time uh, since there is no open position in my system there is also no open positions uh, in the quantity also the position size here also we are setting as zero and the quantity we are sending as 10 if i try to execute it it will try to execute as like plus 10 you see that it, it takes like if i have to refresh the page here yeah it is executing like plus 10 now if i execute the same time again right it will try to bring down the position size to zero Right? So first time when there is no open position, quantity will be taken care. Second time, if already position is there, it will try to set the open position to zero back again. Right? It will get back to zero. Maybe I have to refresh the page again here. Yeah, it, it got back to zero over here. So which means it is trying to buy first time when there is no open position, quantity is getting executed. When there is a position size is there, it will try to match the open position. Right? So right now what I, what it is happening right right now if I, I don't have any open position right so if i try to execute again what will happen yes exactly again there is no open position here there is also no open position here as well which means if i try to execute again it will try to match the open position uh, it will try to execute the quantity again let's try one more time it should be buying 10 quantity right let me refresh the page yeah you can see that 10 is there and again i'm gonna set it back to zero here I mean, this is 10 and then uh, position size is 0. So same thing, same thing I'm executing over here, which you can see that it's getting back to 0 again, right? So right now there are no open position. And one another thing that you also want to see here is, if my position, let's say I'm going to set my quantity as like uh, minus 3, which means it's going to open a shot irrespective of whatever is the action. Action can be buy, action can be sell. There is no open position. I'm just uh, trying to execute for the first time. So if zero is there, it will try to match the quantity. Right now we are having minus three itself. So it will directly try to sell minus three quantity over here. Right. So if I try to sell it, it will try to sell minus three quantity. So let me refresh. Yeah, it, it goes to minus three over here. Right. 
and uh, what if I try to execute again? Already minus 3 is there, here also minus 3, there also minus 3. If I try to execute one more time, it will say no position already matched, so no action is taken. So no action will be taken over here in this instance. Okay, what if I want to square off? Very simple, again we have to fire 0 and 0. So quantity is 0, position value also you take it as 0 and it listen carefully it always checks the position book and then it executes the activity so means it will be like uh, there will be two api calls will be involved over here one is calling the position book fetching the position book data reading the net quantity and then it takes the decision what needs to be done that's what place smart order is all about so I hope you got clarified what is the major difference between place order and place mod order. So place mod order plays a major role when it comes to building uh, smart execution systems, right? So it's slightly, uh, I would say like it is slightly uh, time consuming compared to place order. So if place order is going to have one AP call, here we're going to have two simultaneous AP call over here. Right? So yeah, so which is more faster if you ask me, place order, which is more smarter if you ask me, place smart order. I hope that clarifies it. So we'll see you in at another session with more interesting content. Thank you.